Where do identity thieves go to sell your personal information? Online chat rooms like this one. Tom Rusin, chief executive of Affineon Group, showed me the sites his company monitors to catch thieves selling customers' data. You've got the bad guys, the hackers, who are in this one particular room, um, and they're all posting whatever it is that they have to sell. They'll sell mailing lists to do scams. They'll sell full profiles. This guy wants to buy CVVs, which are security codes for credit cards. Rusin didn't want to air sensitive data on camera, but he did show me one victim's profile available for sale online. It had the woman's phone number, name, address, social security number, her driver's license number, her mother's maiden name, even the answers to her secret security questions. Rusin said his company finds thousands of such profiles online every day. Now, the hackers will put this information out for a couple of reasons. Number one, they want to show the quality of their wares. So they're saying, look, if you want to buy a full, now this is what is called in the underworld a full profile, and the going rate on a full profile is $10 to $25. If you want a full profile where we'll guarantee there's $100,000 in their bank account, you might pay $50 for that. Because these chat rooms are in foreign countries, it's difficult to shut them down. But stateside, the good news is a new Federal Trade Commission rule that requires companies to do a better job keeping customers' data safe. The bad news? No consumer product will 100% prevent identity theft, though some scan online chat rooms and will alert you to any problems. Visit the nonprofit site idtheftcenter.org for more information. And keep a lookout for the latest scams playing off the financial crisis. Emails asking consumers to update their account information because of a bank failure or merger. Never click emailed links. Call your bank instead. In San Francisco, this is Andrea Coombs with MarketWatch.